Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to digitalh.com. And the last time we created our registration page for our to-do maker. And I know guys, you can see a lot of changes out here because I've, you know, took the nav bar off. I've reduced the width for this particular, you know, registration block. And I gave it a different uh, font style to my heading. So don't worry, everything would be available for download on my website, that's digitalh.com. And uh, this time we would be building our login form. So what we would be doing is uh, inside the same page, you know, on the very top, we're going to keep the login block. And every time a person going to hit, you know, uh, make a new registration, then only we're going to make it visible by default. We just want to make our registration form to be hidden. So for that, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, inside here, uh, probably here, uh, I'm going to create a new div. Let's name this to div class uh, register form. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to end that particular div out here. Okay. And here on the top, uh, I'm going to create new div with the name div class login form. Say in the login form. Okay, inside it, I'm gonna just you know copy this uh, H2 and you know a bit of marker from the bottom. Paste it here. So that's I believe fine. So here I can see end form. And instead of here where it says register here, I'm going to change this one to login here. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Uh, for this, I'm going to say password. Uh, here, let's say input type to password. Here, say password. And here, say password. And you know, guys, just to be more specific, uh, what I can do is I can say login username and login password. Okay, and copy this. Uh, we don't need any label for our submit button. And I'm going to say input type to submit with a name to login. Uh, like this. And ID to login. Uh, give it a class again to button. And for the green color, I'm going to say button success. So guys, come back, refresh, and let's see how does it look. Okay, it's looking quite similar to the one uh, we have here on the bottom. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make this particular one uh, to be hidden by default. So and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, dev class register form to, you know, should have a display to none. Okay, so now we only have our login block on the top. So what I'm going to do next is uh, out here, I'm going to create a very small link. And I'm going to uh, give this an ID to show register. Okay, and here I can say, uh, don't have an account. Okay. And give it a your break tag from the top. So it seems perfectly fine. Now, every time we're going to click this link, uh, we're going to, you know, make this particular form hidden and we're going to show uh, the one on the bottom. So for that, we're going to write, uh, you know, a uh, few lines of jQuery. So very first uh, here on the top, I'm going to start script tags and, you know, a document ready function to make sure that the DOM is ready before we do anything. And here I'm going to say ID show register dot click function like every time we're going to click on it uh, run a new function dollar class uh, login form dot hide okay and we can say register form to show like this and return to false because it's an anchor link so we don't want to uh, you know, we just want to make its default beha behavior to return to false. So refresh once again. And guys, you can see we have the registration form here now. And next thing we can do is uh, 
come back to the top copy this from here and I'm gonna paste it here give it a break tag and I'm gonna say show login here I'm gonna say already have an account okay and come here on the top I'm gonna copy this paste it here I'm gonna say show login should make this one to show and make this one to hide so come back refresh one more time so this time we have our login form I want to click this one it says uh, you can register now and if you already have an account go ahead and log in so guys uh, inside one page we have both of our forms and we have you know some little animation as well guys again I don't want to spend a lot of time on CSS and on HTML that's the reason I'm not explaining anything I'm just gonna leave everything as a source code on my website you guys can download it and you can you know actually understand what I'm uh, trying to do because it's only 47 line of codes with CSS so there is nothing very tricky or nothing very fancy uh, next thing is uh, I'm gonna open the login form very first uh, every time a user gonna you know enter their username and the password and where it says submit query very first I'm gonna change this and I'm going to give it a value to login. Okay, guys, back again. So every time a user going to hit, uh, you know, enter their username and the password and they're going to hit login, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a check uh, the username and the password. Does it actually matches to the one uh, already have, like already we have in our database? And if you remember, we already have that class ready for us. Just only we need to create a new instance of the class and we need to run this particular method inside our class called manage users. So inside libs, I'm going to create probably file is already there. I'm really sorry for that. Uh, here I'm going to say if is it dollar post login. Okay, if the person is hitting the login. Uh, page I'm gonna say dollar username will be equals to dollar post uh, login username and let me say password to login password okay again I'm gonna make a check if uh, if it's empty so I'm gonna say if empty dollar username or empty uh, dollar password okay then go ahead and create a new variable called error and let the user know all fields are required okay and if it's not empty then go ahead and do one thing is run a new function and before running that function uh, you know create an instance of that class I want to say login users uh, will be equals to a new instance of uh, manage users okay and then I'm gonna say uh, auth user will be equals to dollar login user and our method inside this class that's login users so here's this here and we have to pass two parameters so I'm gonna say our parameters gonna be username and password and guys, I'm not using any MD5 hash right now because if you remember, I don't have any registration with uh, encrypted password. So I'm just going to make it plain. Make sure uh, every time you are doing it, you know, just do it like uh, password to uh, MD5 dollar password so that it matches to the one that you already have in your database. So I don't have the encrypted one. I'm, not, I'm just going to comment this line out. Uh, then I'm going to say if dollar auth user. Uh, is equals to equals to one that means if you are able to log in the user properly uh, if I'll go back to my class uh, what we are doing is we are selecting uh, everything from this uh, table users and we are you know counting how many rows have been affected so if the row is equal to one that means username and password matches to each other uh, if it's equals to one just for now let's say echo uh, awesome okay and first we can try this code come back 
power refresh let me hit login it says all fields are required awesome uh, let's say uh, my password I created and it says class manager users not found awesome because we haven't included this file we have to include it here okay guys one more try uh, it says awesome that means we are you know able to create uh, probably we are <clears throat> Uh, able to match one row out here. So if you will notice, um, and the password same to the username. So I don't want to echo awesome here. What I want is <clears throat> uh, to create a session for that particular user. And here on the top, I'm going to say session start. Okay. And uh, here I'm going to say is dollar. Um, make session will be equals to this particular function uh, get user info dollar username and uh, <clears throat> then I'm gonna say for each dollar make session or you know what probably I can copy it from the top because if you remember we did it last time as well so I'm gonna copy it uh, and I'm gonna paste it here Okay, and if uh, you know we are not able to get the value to one, that means the credentials are wrong. So I'm gonna say else echo, uh, not echo. I'm really sorry. Uh, variable error gonna be equals to invalid credentials. Okay, uh, that's wrong spelling. Okay, <clears throat> so I believe that's all we need. Uh, guys, just go ahead and test it once again and let's see what we'll get. So I'm going to refresh the page, uh, enter my username, my password, and it says call to an undefined function get user info. Okay, that's my bad. I'm really sorry. I have to say it like this. And it says make sessions variable uh, on line 81. But it's make session, not make sessions. Refresh one more time, and it have redirected us towards the index.php page. That means we are able to log in successfully. If you want, you can try one more time. Uh, refresh the page, enter my name, my password, and it's done, guys. So, in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create our very first index.php page. Then later, we're gonna you know dig into creating some more awesome classes. So I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye.